In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can take your PDF document and put it inside your Google Drive account so it stores it online and you can get a link there which you can use in your download page or in your emails which the user will then click on to go and download your PDF file. So here on the screen, you'll see I'm inside Google Drive. Now if I go over the left-hand side here on my desktop, Here's my little PDF that I created earlier. It's a document here, PDF. Now, inside Google Drive, I have created a new folder here just called Test. Now, from here, I can go to New, and I can choose to upload a file. So I can go File, Upload, and then navigate to my folder where that file is stored. Or I can just simply drag the file over here like this. You can see I'm dragging it into place, and I just let go. And down on the bottom right there, it starts to upload. And there's that file uploaded into my folder. Now here I can choose, if I right click, I can choose to rename this folder so I could put a different naming structure in, you know, just to make it a bit easier to read. And I could remove that, click OK. So there you go, I've now got a file made and if I double click this you can see it pops up like that and there's a preview of my document and you know there's various stuff you can do inside here I could share this with other people if they've got Google Drive but one thing I want to do is get the link for this file which I'm going to save later on and use for my download page and also to go in my email so what we've done now we've got a file and it's stored inside our Google Drive account and if I double click on it here's that file now up on the right hand side I can download it from here print it do various other things but I want to click on this one which is share I can also do it from inside this account here. So I can, on the right here, I can click on this little share icon there. I can click on that and grab the link. But I'm just gonna double click. Now click on share. And you'll see what comes up here is the option to share this file with other people. On the right hand side, I can just click on this to get the shareable link. Okay, so if I click on that, you can see here it's prompted my link and it's saying the link's copied to the clipboard. Now this is the link here. Okay, it's quite an ugly link, it's a long link, it doesn't matter, you could shorten it, the various link shortening services, um, doesn't matter because people aren't gonna see that, in, it's just gonna be the link inside the email. And you'll see here we've got options, anyone can view this, um, you can obviously do, choose various other options, leave it as default so anyone can view the, view the link and then click copy the link and you can see it's copied to the clipboard. Now to test this, what you could do, I'm gonna open up a another browser or a browser window, I'll use the incognito window in Chrome. And you'll see here, if I just paste this link into the address bar at the top, what should happen? It should prompt to, oh, it opens up the file and it's there available for download. Now, someone could sign in on the right if they wanted to. You can also set the different settings on this to actually force people to sign in, but we don't, we don't wanna do that. We're making it easy for people just to get that file straight away. So. You can see it works, so I know now it works. I've got my link, and then what I'm gonna do from here, so I've got that link copied, I'm gonna open up my notepad, my text editor, I'm just gonna paste the link inside here, just so I've got this ready to go and use later on when I put it into my download page or my thank you page. So once you've done that, you've then got the link ready to use. You could go into a shortening service like Bitly or even Google's own shortening service and shorten this link down just so it's much tidier um, that's uh, you know that's your own preference that's up to you if you want to do that um, for the sake of this video and this article I'm gonna just keep the link as it is and I'm gonna go through and create all my different links for all my different platforms and then I'll show you where we link those up later on mm -hmm.